Welcome back to the News 12 Connecticut Education Notebook. I'm Amelie Wilson. Parents all over southwestern Connecticut are looking for fun educational activities to do with their kids this summer. Nina Perez is the mother chef and then the founder of Kitty Kitchen. She encourages parents to spend more time with their kids in the kitchen. We're talking about learning the basics of cooking but also having fun, huh? That's right, yes. So what exactly do you do? Well, I actually um, go to the person's home and I set up tables and I teach children a cooking lesson, whether it's uh, making pancakes that day or sushi or pasta. And uh, basically, it's a birthday party, so all the kids are sitting around. I set them in stations, mm -hmm. and we all cook simultaneously. I teach them all how to cook different things. Do you find that a lot of kids these days don't know how to cook? They're just given, you know, a frozen meal, or mom and dad do it all? A lot of parents do a lot of frozen meals, but kids have the desire to cook. Mm -hmm. um, I've uh, seen a large increase of people calling me to have these cooking parties because mm -hmm. kids are getting really into the Food Network thing, you know, and always right. watching TV. Celebrity and chefs are big right. now, yeah. huh? Yeah, and they just, they're, they're really smart too. They pick up things very quickly and they learn quick, so. Some parents might worry about safety in the kitchen. Uh, mm -hmm. How do you go over that with the kids at first, just with the heat and everything? Exactly, well, I, that's exactly what I do. And when we're starting, if I'm bringing a griddle or if they have to cook on the stove or anything, uh, me or my partner will be there with them. Um, but I also have like, like little knives that are safe so that mm -hmm. they don't cut themselves. Yeah. Um, and I also teach them life skills for the kids who are a little older. Okay. And I also talk about, you know, if something's hot, what happens? And so they, they get the gist of that this is serious and we're really cooking. And I'm sure you go over, you know, vegetables and, and yes. which ones are good for you and mostly everything pretty yeah, much. Yeah, because they all want chocolate chips. So. Right. So <laughs> how, do you, how do you make a vegetable or a piece of fruit exciting and make them want to eat it? Anything that kids cook, they're excited about. Oh. And so what I've learned is um, I've stopped the trend of taking my kids to like fast food places. So we cook a lot at home and my kids are really, really healthy. Really? But you know, it's because we have uh, so many vegetables. Like my daughter, um, who's 11, she cooks with me all the time and hated vegetables. But if you cook at home, you have to try what you make. Right. So um, I said, if otherwise you can't work in the kitchen. So every time she cooks with me, she tries peppers and onions and broccoli and she eats everything, now even Brussels sprouts. It's got to be a great way also to bring parents and their children closer together. It is, because I think that you communicate better. You know, they're cooking and chopping away, and they're just telling you what happened at school and what they did, and, uh, you know, it's really fun. It's You get to get into their lives. Well, we're going to get into a smoothie when we come back, <laughs> right? You're right. going to share one of your recipes with us. We're also going to meet your daughter, Stephanie, and go over more of the Kitty Kitchen. Thank you. All right, we'll be right back with recipes and a demo in the Kitty Kitchen with Nina Perez next. Welcome back to the News 12 Connecticut Education Notebook. I'm Amelie Wilson. Some summer days are just too hot for outdoors. How about spicing things up in your kitchen with the kids? Nina Perez has several healthy and educational activities for you to do in your kitchen, and she's brought along her assistant and daughter, Stephanie. Thanks again for coming. Thank you. So we're going to make a nice, cool smoothie. Mm -hmm. It's a fun, delicious treat, and it's healthy. It is. It is. We use um, uh, low-fat milk okay. and um, low-fat yogurt and she's gonna cut up some bananas right now. Okay. Kind of chop those up for me. And Stephanie, how old are you? Eleven. And you like to cook? Yes. Fun, because <laughs> you, know, you can do it with your mom and your family, huh? Yes. Very cool. <laughs> yeah, and plus they get, you know, this is a smoothie, but um, I don't want to make it with ice cream and sugar yeah. and all that. So we um, thicken it up by using frozen fruit, because frozen fruit is actually just as good as getting it in the supermarket, uh, you know, fresh. Mm -hmm. The only good thing is, is that this has already been ripened, so they're really already sweet. Okay, so, so you I don't, don't have, have to wait. add. Right, and I don't have to add any sugar or anything. And by the time they pick the fruit and bring it to your supermarket anyway, it's been about a month or so anyway. Okay. So this is, um, the frozen, it just makes nice and smooth for you and the kids like it because it's sweet and it's naturally sweet from the fruit. I so. really like the way that you put an emphasis on communication in the kitchen as far as getting the parents and kids to talk Absolutely. to each other whether it be about the food or just their day at summer camp or, or work. Mm -hmm. I actually teach summer camp as well at um, Noah Community College and in, in for kids mm -hmm. and it's great you really do get to uh, learn a lot about them. Why don't you put that in here sweetie? Great. All right how can I help? Can I put in some some berries? Yeah. Put in half these berries you out. here. All right. So we are just doing bananas, strawberries, uh -huh. pineapples, and wild blueberries. Great. And some 
milk and yogurt. So this could be a breakfast or, or snack? Yes, um, what they do, we, it's really filling, so breakfast would be fine as well. And okay. it has, you know, the antioxidants and your vitamin C's and, you know, all your great, um, uh, nutrients from your pineapple for your yeah. immune system and all that great stuff. So. Great. All right. And this doesn't take any time, obviously. Nope. <laughs> if people would like more information, they can go to your website. Yes, they can. It's uh, uh, www.thekittykitchen.com. Okay. Um, they can always call, too. It's 203-347-8225. Easy enough. Yes. Kitty Kitchen. <laughs> all right, because I want to eat this before we go. Yes. <laughs> so a little it's bit refreshing. of honey for some sweetness, right? <laughs> yes. Just about two tablespoons. Not, not much. Okay. Just a little okay. bit. Why don't you just squeeze that in there? See, she's been, Stephanie's hands. been cooking for so long that you mm -hmm. don't even have to use a measuring cup anymore. That's right. <laughs> she's so good. She really is. Um, you know, we got away from the hot dogs and all that, so. Yeah. And I love this idea, though. You can share kind of family recipes, and it's mm -hmm. a way of keeping family history alive. That's right. And we make our own recipes yeah. that we write and put on our computer. We try some new things, and, and then we go, we didn't like that, so we'll exit out. Yeah. But if we like it, we put it right into our database. Here we go real quickly <laughs> so we don't run out of time because we're going to have to take a taste of this, huh, Steph? Now, how long will this blend for? Oh, just a, f a few minutes, maybe a minute or two. That's it. That's it. Oh, We're going to let our guests good. try. Right, Stephanie? Yes. Oh, thank you for sharing. <laughs> Again, check out the kittykitchen.com or right, dot com. Mm -hmm. the kittykitchen dot com. Mm. This is delicious. It is so refreshing. Perfect for summer. Yes. Thank you, Nina. And thank, thank you for you having especially us. Stephanie, so helpful. And we'll be back with more of the News 12 Connecticut Education Notebook after the break.